Hello everybody, welcome to another Transformers third party slash knockoff review. Uh, I've had a few requests for this one, so thanks to the guys over at TF Direct. We're looking at the God Zero Two Tank Warrior. And this is the second figure in the line. The first one was the God Zero One Energy Warrior, uh, which was Jetfire, not to be confused with the God Zero One which is Thunderstorm from Garatron. Uh, they're all using the same names. But anyway, this is of course a kind of slightly reworked and slightly recolored version of the APS-02 Brawl, the Asian exclusive. Uh, they've kind of reworked it, they've retweaked a few bits and they've given it a completely different box. This is for ages 15, and over, and on the back there we've got vehicle mode, uh, saying this section can open up, uh, move turret for battle sounds. And then we have the robot, we have some warnings here, uh, saying it's made in China and it's, uh, no babies can touch this. Contains small components, does not suit three year old of and following child users. Awesome. Comes packaged in a nice foam insert, and we do get a nice instruction booklet, which is nicely laid out. So it's made from quite a nice high gloss card as well, but my gosh, those are some tiny little diddly instructions. Right, here he is out of the packaging. Uh, these sections all come separated in the foam inserts. Uh, First things first, I've never actually owned a copy of this mold, uh, but there's a lot of heft to him. Some real weight here, and the levels of uh, detailing, the paint applications on him, it's really nicely done. Now we're gonna flick these sections out, and as you can see, they're already a very different color. It's what we get with the APS versions. The actual paint scheme overall, from what I've heard, um, is much nicer as well. I mean, when you pay for a premium product from Takara, you expect it to be the best uh, you're gonna get. Uh, then when you get a bootleg company that come out and do it better, uh, you know, it's always easy to improve on somebody else's product, but I mean, Takara were improving on their own anyway and surely they could have done the extra little tweaks and given us something that looks as good as this. Right, here we have him with all of the guns and turrets attached. Uh, there is a gap on this turret here. Uh, won't quite plug all the way in, but we still get the function of pushing the turret. And of course we do get the uh, LED light in there as well, which lights up. There we go. And we do get the effect of turning this top section. And you can see those light up as well. And these don't want to stay in. Uh, do you guys have any problems with these on the actual original ones? I mean, I know I could probably pry these sections apart slightly. Just, uh, they just don't want to stay in there though, you, you slide them in and they go in, but they just don't want to stay in. Now, one of the biggest uh, differences between this and the official is these gaps here. The official one doesn't have these big gaps, so Takara definitely got that right. Uh, now this section does lift up. Now as far as leader scale figures go, he's a very good size. Uh, easily comparable to the likes of the Combiner Wars uh, leader class Megatron. Uh, very similar size. I like the fact that these front sections here, we do have some rotation on there, so you can uh, move these as you see fit. Uh, like I previously mentioned, the turret section does go up and down. This section here does rotate left and right, and of course these top sections do also rotate, enabling the sound effects. Uh, coming around to the rear, we do have these big cluster sections at the back of the tank. I do like the paint applications on these, they've kind of got like a smoked 
grey on there. It, it's nice, you know, it's not just a flat colour, which is kind of what you want. This is based on a premium figure, so you want a premium paint job. Going on the underside, we do have a fairly visible uh, robot mode. You've got to remember this was originally uh, from the first movie in 2007. Uh, you know, that's 10 years ago. Oh my goodness. Uh, a lot of people criticise Michael Bay. I actually enjoyed the films. Uh, my son was introduced uh, to Transformers via the Michael Bay verse style movies. And without Michael Bay, we really wouldn't have the Transformer uh, marketplace that we do now. Uh, he kind of revitalised the brand and brought it to a whole new generation. And uh, because of that, uh, us adult geeks are kind of blessed and are spoilt for choice. Here it is with Optimus Prime and Sentinel Prime, just for a quick scale comparison. Uh, they all look exceedingly good together. And he looks fabulous with the Human Alliance figures. So there we have his tank mode. I personally think it's a very nice mold. I wanted to get the original and eBay prices were horrendous. So when I saw that they'd done this, I had to jump at the chance and purchase it. And so far, vehicle mode alone, I have absolutely no regrets. Stunning paint job, few minor gaps around here, and these bits don't quite stay on as well as they should, but just that overall look, the feel, more than makes up for it. Now let's get him transformed up, because I'm pretty sure 90% of you are not even gonna sniff at this tank mode, you're gonna go straight into bot mode and put in with your other figures. So, ooh, just pressing these black tabs, boom! Boom, look at that rapid fire action there. Bring this section all the way down, come to this arm section and bring that out. You want to rotate the bicep section around and then bring this cannon section back and there's a slot here and a peg just on here. You're gonna bring that back and just push and tab that in, come to Brawl's underside and just split those legs and you want to rotate them so this section is at the front and this section goes up to the back. This section here is going to fold over. There's a circular tab here and a hole there that's going to go in and just tab into place. This section is going to fold up and over and this is going to slide inwards and there's this tab here that's going to slide into this slot just here and then this little tab here that's going to come in and slide in and tab into place there you come around to the feet you pull this section up this section up this section out and then unfold those like so Grab this tire tread and that's on a sprung hinge. You want to just move that up. Lift the shoulder tab section up so it's bent at that angle. And that now allows this entire top section to come over and that can now rock forwards. Bring these shoulder pad sections right up to the top there. Now untab this back section here and you've got this nice little auto more uh, sequence thing going on here where you can lift this section forwards and backwards and this whole top section here slides. These get in the way just a little bit. But once we do that, we can push it up so it actually clicks into place. And then bring these over, like so. Come around to his back. You wanna just pull this section up, allows you to untab it. So we've got a nice range of motion there. You can then bring this section down. You want to just rotate that section up. Come around to these, bring them out to the side like so, bring that all the way up. And again, you've got this little auto more feature there where this section slides up. You can then rotate them forwards and face them off to the front there, rotate it forwards and face it off to the front. This section here comes out that comes out, this section comes down, and as we bring those down, this turret section is on a hinge. We can bring that out, all the way down. 
We can then close this section back off and then tab that hinge back in. And here he is all transformed up into his robot mode. And he does look like a really nice figure. I'm not too keen on the uh, mess that is the feet or oh, kind of the side profile. It's a little bit kibble-tastic with all this big chunk of tank hanging off the back of his legs. Uh, but that being said, he really does look the part. He looks very much like what we got with the movie. Uh, it's a really nice color scheme. I like what they've done, kind of just added to it. They haven't just done a straight off knockoff. Uh, they have done a few little tweaks. Uh, got a nice accessible cannon here, which can still be pushed in and used. A little bit more temperamental than maybe I would like, but still, yeah, it really does look the part. Uh, we still have the weapons here on the sides. Look at that, that's fantastic. Uh, push these all the way out. There we go, we've got these nice big cannons on the forearm as well. Coming over to this side, we have the fold out knives there and as you fold out the knives we can move the uh, kind of chain gun section to the top of those arms and this section can actually untab we can bring that all the way forward so he's got these big huge chunky knives which he can stabby stabby with uh, i really like how that looks prefer that being nice and tidy and tucked in there articulation wise uh, he has a little <laughs> the head can look left and right so uh, we kind of go up and down i mean that's a really nice sculpt there's a lot going on in there with all the circuit shut up with all the circuitry in the eyes uh, it actually reminds me very much of a rock lord the face on that uh, but like i said the head can tilt upwards and down which got a nice bit of range there it's quite sunken into this section here the shoulders uh they can go <laughs> Shh. as you can see they are attached to that ratchet joint got nice upwards motion there we do have uh upper bicep rotation as well got a nice bend at the elbow Sorry, I might take the batteries out. Uh, the fingers can move independently. There's no rotation on the wrist, uh, but I do like got a nice piston action going on there. Shush. Shush, shush, shush. There we go, just don't touch it anymore. Um, rotation at the waist, there is none. It's just one big lump, unfortunately. The legs can move forward on a really nice ratchet. And back we can come. Ah, out to the side on a ridiculously tight ratchet joint. Uh, the knees can bend. If you can bring the legs forward, you can bend the knees at nearly a uh, right angle, but that's all you're gonna get there. Uh, there is a rotation at the knee, and of course we do get an ankle pivot. You get a chance to move these toes accordingly as you see fit, uh, but unfortunately that is all we're gonna get. Uh, the Bayverse uh, toys from 2007 weren't really renowned for their uh, posability, uh, but it really does look the part. Uh, I'm genuinely very impressed by it. I mean, this is a bootleg, isn't it? It's, it's a knockoff. It's a fraction of what you would pay if you got the APS-02. And in my opinion, it does look really nice. You know, it's not going to look out of place at all on a display. And people aren't going to know. They're going to look at this and say, oh, you've got a really nice version of Brawl there. It's a... And you can say, yes, yes, I have. I was inspired to buy one because I watched that amazing Ben from Ben's Collectibles. <laughs> Uh, I'll blow my own trumpet because nobody else will. Uh, I like the fact this has sounds built in. It came shipped with the battery as already included, uh, so you don't have to worry about getting any batteries or anything. We do still have uh, leg spikes if you want to uh, bring those down and have those as part of the toes. Uh, 
I'm not a huge fan of the uh, pointy toe bits. Uh, I suppose it does add a little bit, so it doesn't add anything to the uh, balance at all. I think it leaves these gaping holes uh, here in the legs. Now the sculpt on this is slightly different. I know the arms, I believe, are slightly different. There's uh, a few little subtle differences, but not having the original in hand, it's difficult for me to pinpoint them exactly. Uh, but from what I've heard, uh, they're all uh, pretty good differences, uh, nothing untoward. And like I said, uh, I'm pretty impressed with him. He's a big, solid lump, and to be honest with you, he is leaps and bounds better than their 01 Jetfire figure, and he definitely was not terrible. Just for a quick scale comparison, here he is with the God Zero One, and of course, Starscream and the Human Alliance figure. That, uh, He's a good looking figure, isn't he? Oh, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, God Zero 2 Tank Warrior. Now is the time to get back into the Bayverse movies. We have a few third party companies bringing out leader class figures. Uh, we're gonna be bombarded with some pretty awesome looking guys. We've got, I think it's Dream Factory is gonna be one of the first ones there bringing out a leader size and bone crusher uh, we're gonna have some decent baddies there we've got leader stroke supreme class uh, blackout coming as well so uh, now's the time to get them start buying up the movie verse figures because 2017 2018 is going to be a very good year for them i hope you've enjoyed this video if you've found it useful feel free to give it a big thumbs up uh, share it amongst your friends and family and of course subscribe to my awesome little channel thanks again to the guys at tf direct for making this review possible i've included a link in the description below to their store and from myself and tank warrior aka leader class brawl thanks for watching goodbye